Welcome Witches and Wizards, today we will be guessing characters by their voices from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Good luck and enjoy. Don't be silly. There she was walking by. You know I like it when they walk. This voice belongs to Ron Weasley. Silly. There she was walking by. You know I like it when they walk. Couldn't help it. Give a damn what your father thinks, Malfoy. Yeah. He's vile and cruel. And you're just pathetic. Let's reveal the answer. It's Harry Potter. Give a damn what your father thinks, Malfoy. Yeah. He's vile and cruel, and you're just pathetic. After tonight, no one will ever again question my power. Let's see who it was. It's Lord Voldemort. After tonight, no one will ever again question my power. This voice is none other than Professor Dumbledore. On the count of three, one. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. The professor behind the voice is Professor McGonagall. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. The Death Eaters at the World Cup, your name rising from that goblet. These are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. This voice belongs to Sirius Black. The Death Eaters at the World Cup, your name rising from that goblet. These are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. You said. Oh, oh right, you want a piece of it? Get that! This mischievous duo is Fred and George. Oh, you said. You said. Oh, oh right, you want a piece of it? Get that! Yeah, take that. Well, put it this way: if it rains, you'll be the first to know. This voice is none other than Lucius Malfoy. Well, put it this way. If it rains, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> In short, what makes a champion tick? Me, myself and I want to know. The witch behind the voice is Rita Skeeter. In short, what makes a champion tick? Me, myself, and I want to know. Not to mention my rabid readers. You need to be prepared. You need to find another place to put your chewing gum besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan. Let's see who it was. It's Mad Eye Moody, played by Barry Crouch Jr. You need Jr. to be prepared. You need to find another place to put your chewing gum besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan. Oh, no. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. This voice belongs to Hermione Granger. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Potter, what's your hurry? The professor behind the voice is Professor Snape. Potter, what's your hurry? Although, I have to admit that Horntail is a right nasty piece of work. This voice belongs to 
Hagrid. Although, I have to admit, that horn tail is a right nasty piece of work. Poor Ron nearly fainted just see them, you know. There's the, um, the Cruciatus. Let's see who it was. It's Neville Longbottom. There's the, um, the Cruciatus. Professor Dumbledore, my horses have traveled a long way. They will need attending to. This voice belongs to Madame Maxime. Professor Dumbledore, my horses have traveled a long way. They will need attending to. Champions in a circle round me. Miss Delacour over here, Mr. Crumb. This voice is none other than Bertie Crouch Sr. Champions in a circle round me. Miss Delacour over here, Mr. Crumb. And uh, Potter, Mr. Potter. This snaky voice is Nagini. Merlin's beard. You must be Harry Potter. Let's reveal the answer. It's Amos Diggory. Merlin's beard. You must be Harry Potter. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! It's not the Irish. Let's see who it was. It's Arthur Weasley. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! It's not the Irish. We've got to get out of here. Now! You know what this means, <laughs> don't you? He's back. Lord Voldemort. This voice belongs to Bertie Crouch Jr. You know what this means, don't you? He's back. Lord Voldemort has returned. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? This voice is none other than Cedric Diggory. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bar. Oh, um, Harry, I'm, I'm sorry, but the witch behind the voice is Joe Chang. Oh, um, Harry, I'm, I'm sorry, but someone's already. Father, unwillingly given. Let's reveal the answer. It's Wormtail. Bones of the Father, unwillingly given. You saved her even though she wasn't yours to save. My little sister. Let's see who it was. It's Fleur Delacour. You saved her even though she wasn't yours to save. My little sister. Thank you. The final of the 422nd Quidditch World Cup. It's the Minister of Magic himself, Cornelius Fudge. The final of the 422nd. Quidditch World Cup. Let the match. It's not like I tried to blow things up exactly. This happens a fair bit. You have to. This explosive voice belongs to Seamus Finnegan. It's not like I tried to blow things up exactly. 
this happens a fair bit. You have to admit though, Four is pretty fascinating. Harry, when the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. Let's see who it was. It's James Potter. Harry, when the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. We can linger for a moment to give you some time, but took part in the capture, and by means of the Cruciatus Curse, torture of the Auror Frank Longbottom. This voice belongs to Igor Karkarov. Took part in the capture, and by means of the Cruciatus Curse, torture of the Auror Frank Longbottom and his wife. You have no business here. This stent is for champions. This voice is none other than Victor Crumb. You have no business here. This stent is for champions and friends. Let go. Sweetheart, you're ready. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see who was. It's Lily Potter. Let go. Sweetheart, you're ready. Let's reveal the answer. It's Moaning Myrtle. Hello, Harry. Oh, long time no see. Oh. Oh. Don't you look? Dashing. Oh. Let's see what it was. It's Padma Patil. Don't you look? Dashing. Oh. My father and I have a bet, you see. I don't think you're going to last ten minutes in this tournament. This voice belongs to Draco Malfoy. My father and I have a bet, you see. I don't think you're going to last ten minutes in this tournament. Did you get them all? Which was your favourite voice? Let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps the channel. Do you think you can guess all the voices from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban? Find out here.